Hey, welcome back to another video guys. Now, solar tower boilers were added in a recent update of HPM Spot and they are a great way to produce power in the early game. Also, these blocks are a great addition as we previously didn't have any way to produce renewable power in the game. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything there is to know about these blocks and how you can use them efficiently. So without any further ado guys, let's get this video going. Okay, so let's quickly check the recipe we are gonna need to make the items necessary. So a solar tower boiler is made with three big steel shells, two insects and four steel ingots. And the mirror adjustment tool is made simply with two aluminum and two iron ingots. And finally the heliostat mirror is made with three aluminum plates, a steel beam and three steel ingots. Now place your solar tower boiler and dig to below. Once you do that, you are gonna see a pipe for water inlet. So take a steel barrel and as I'm in creative, I'm gonna use infinite water source, but you can input water in this any way you want to. Now, once I connect this, water is going inside the tower. Now cover it all up and take out your mirror adjustment tool. Once you shift right click, you will see alignment position set. Now once you place your heliostat mirrors around the tower and you right click on them, you will see that they are aligned with the tower and they will reflect off the sunlight to the tower. So now our tower is producing steam and to confirm this, take out a steam pipe from the top of the tower and bring it out and we are gonna get this pipe into a industrial turbine. Like this and connect the pipe now once you connect it you will see that the turbine starts rotating but it is rotating pretty inconsistently with gaps in the middle now to make it rotate more smoothly we need to place more mirrors so in order to start producing power you need at least three heliostat mirrors and as you increase the amount of mirrors you will see the power produced is more or basically it increases now, once I right click on all the mirrors, you will see that our turbine will start rotating way more smoothly and it will start rotating faster. So let me right click on all of them. And now you can see our turbine is rotating perfectly. So to make the industrial steam turbine rotate in this perfect way, you need to put 3, 6, 9, 12 and 4 more so 16 you need to put 16 heliostat mirrors and now as you in keep on increasing the amount of mirrors you will see that the amount of power produced keeps on increasing you can see the sunlight and here you can see our power production has increased by a lot. So in this way, if you keep on increasing the mirrors even more, you will get even more power now. Now one more thing to notice that this turbine will produce power for 12 hours. So if you set the time to 0, you will see that our turbine is still rotating. And now when I set the time to 12,000, uh, the turbine will rotate like this but now if I increase the time and I set it to 13,000 the turbine shall stop rotating like this so the turbine won't rotate at night you won't get any power at night but you will get a limited power during the day so you can make an array out of this or basically you can place as many towers as you want and this is going to give you a lot of renewable power in the early game. So if you if you like this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. Also, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Peace out guys.